And usually what happens is um, personality, for example, with um, this idea of being worthless, um, is going to try to prove its worth on two levels, physical family layer or social layer. So it's going to try to um, to gain rewards uh, in social layer in order to get approval of the physical family layer. Uh, or it's going to try to please physical family layer in order to have social acceptance. Um, a lot of uh, nations have that. Uh, if children do not follow their footsteps in physical family layer, then they cannot feel their worth in social layer and vice versa. And I'm speaking here about distorted layers, of course, because pure uh, because pure layer, whether it's social layer or physical family layer, it's going to support personality and not suppress it. And if this personality is trying to get rewards in social world, uh, well, if this personality is being suppressed in physical family layer, it's going to have two possible ways of survival in social layer. It's going to be either being uh, submissive or dominant. If it's going to be submissive, uh, all kinds of uh, bullying are here. So this personality is going to be bullied, for example, in school or in any other institution like that. And if, uh, or it's going to be dominant, it's going to be atta attacked, attacked, attacking, it's going to attack others. So that's what I said in um, one of my videos, that's the protective program, the one who is hurt is going to try to hurt others. The one who is scared is going to try to scare others. The one who is uh, being uh, suppressed is going to try to suppress others. That's what it is. And um, and pain, that's what I said, uh, level of brokenness and such personality is so big that uh, anyone who is going to uh, look right in essence of this personality is going to be enemy for this personality and one of the examples when I uh, changed the school because I was bullied so I changed it and uh, there was this guy in the new school who also has been bullied uh, more like there was um, rougher than I was bullied and so I was looking at him and I saw his pain in his eyes. He cried uh, a lot uh, when they were just bullshitting him. And actually, uh, I knew, I knew that if I am going to talk to him uh, from heart to heart, He's going to splash out his anger, suppressed anger, onto me. I knew it intuitively, so I didn't do that. All I did was just I was really neutral, so I didn't um, didn't bully bully him, of course, because why would I? I was there too. And I should say that I was on both sides. I was the one who bullied others, and I was the one who has been bullied. And after. Uh, after experiencing these contrasts, I should say that n none of this way is for me. It's it's all it's full of pain. It's full of uh, um, fear. It's full of uh, suppressed anger, and uh, it it's not uh, it's not my way. So distorted uh, layers, uh, distorted physical family layer. Uh, unconsciously or subconsciously interacting with um, social layer, they are like a very mean and very mean rough. Just cats make this noise. 
in a really in a really big in a really rough way they both train personality um, literally killing or trying to kill trying to uh, make this fire of unique flame stop burning uh, and without realization of that physical family layer who uh, provide social layer with new babies literally create uh, the crowd of really broken creatures whose level of brokenness is huge and I've noticed uh, this tendency like uh, spiritual path is is uh, inevitably exist um, it's it's inevitably exist in all of us even in those of us who do not uh, who do not really dive deep or just do not dive at all into their inner world still a spiritual path is it's just our true nature so we all here follow spiritual path even but they all look really different very different and no one is better no one is uh, worst we all are equal equally worthy and yes conditions of all of us are not equal they are not the same but our worth as unique flames are the same and um, I've noticed that a lot of personalities they uh, use this competitive competitive approach even in spirituality instead of helping each other instead of just being uh, attentive to other people's path and what they have to say they they try to prove that they are just standing higher so they do not really get it still because they uh, what a spiritual path is eventually it leads us to greater like to bigger wider uh, brighter uh, high consciousness and on this way uh, so logical is to uh, support each other and to learn to remember how to express our natural respect or natural um, support states to each other rather than try to prove that oh my way is just the only one that is right and all of you have to listen to me you know <laughs> uh, that's why I'm this uh, that's why there are no teachers whatsoever it's just mm, who's going to teach we all are uh, equally worthy just because of the fact of our being and paths are very different but we know exactly what we're doing and all we, we, all we can do to support others on this path is just to um, make this, uh, lay, uh, make this uh, level of brokenness in ourselves less, to heal this uh, level of brokenness. Because our reactions in daily life, that's what is a sign of our state of consciousness. And state of consciousness is not something we have to, you know, just beat ourselves in the chest saying, oh, I'm just so high. It's not something, you know, that is connected with uh, distorted pride. It's just, it's very natural thing. It's, a, it's, change, it's changing all the time. It's like seasons, like uh, seasons, they just do it. It's natural. There's nothing here to... Uh, cherish that much because it's just something that is a reflection of how much of our true essence we already um, accept it that's it so it's it's like <laughs> and uh, so um, personality who refuses to live by 
ideas of social and physical family layer which are distorted it chooses uh, its essence and it's, uh, it, it stops the chain of suffering that's how physical layer is changed and that's how social layer changed like simple example the more of people appreciate ecologically clean um, cruelty free products for example the more of such products are going to be there in the market and the more uh, of uh, animal animal friendly uh, products are going to be eventually right there so the less suffering is going to be here it's very it's like this or you know if someone becomes vegan if this person is going to try to fight with uh, meat eaters or hate them it, it's just the same thing it's like it, it nothing is really changed but if this person is going to observe his own or her own level of brokenness because that's what actually hurts so and they heal it then it's going to be uh, much more power in this personality and this personality is going to remain neutral both to vegans and to meat eaters but energy actually energy is what matters and as I said in some of my videos when we will allow ourselves to see on an energetic level we're going to see others as energies I mean, we're still going to see them physically, but we're going to have this um, ability activated and when we're going to see their energies, their um, patterns of energies and pictures of energies, then we're going to change our uh, standards of beauty <laughs> because we're going to see how it all looks uh, truly. And creatures will understand that that's what we have to work with our energy and once our energy is beautiful physical layer is beautiful as well i know people who are not that pretty on a physical level but they are so beautiful with their energy that this energy just makes their appearance shine shining shiny and beauty comes from inside out that's how it has to come and not not the opposite so uh, <laughs> and on the social la layer we just um, get used to competitive approach pretty early because in school we're supposed to gain knowledge there but how can we possibly gain knowledge there if there is this competitive approach and we have to fight with our classmates for higher grades that's how it started to be meet school i remember in in um first there were three classes that was all right but then um, there was so much competition going on around us and we all became just um concurrence well we started to compete for higher grades rather than just help each other uh, grow together and just uh, do things that uh, we are good at without focusing that much on things that we're not good at for example I never was good in uh, in math or in physics or chemistry and um, I, I don't have to but they don't tell you this they all they do is just they give you really low grades and they just translate on an, energetical, on an energetical level and on physical level too that you are not good enough and I was really good in uh, all the subjects I'm still good at uh, psychology, painting, uh, music, um, English <sighs> literature I was Writing essays just in a blink of an eye wasn't a big deal for me. I could write just at once. And I was really good in languages. So <laughs> that's what I have 
that's what I should have been doing. But they told me that I have to be good in all the subjects. So I could have this diploma with higher grades. It, it's just nothing. And I remember how much competition and energy was there and how draining it was. Eventually I changed the school from gymnasium to uh, like an ordinary school. And what actually happened, I finished it with um, all, uh, I guess that's uh, uh, equivalent of B, Bs, all Bs. So no A's, no C's, just Bs. <laughs> so, uh, and what was the point uh, back in gymnasium for me to fight for A's all the time? We actually have this, uh, we used to have uh, five uh, numbers, like five that was the highest, and four it was like, okay, three was, no, not really good, two was like, ah, oh, it was literally just uh, trashy thing, and that was like this, and one, I even did not mention that, one was like out of question, then we had this 12, uh, 12 number system, uh, which confused, confused, um, all of us because 12, 11, and 10 was still um, that all equal 5. And uh, 9, 8, 7 was still 4, and 6, 5, 4 was 3, and uh, 3, 2, 1 was 2. And so these all numbers, they don't really matter. How they help me right now in my casual life, they don't. I don't give a shit, in, you know, about whether I, I got five or four. I remember I was remembering all these dates um, till 3 a.m. in the morning before history class so I could pass this fucking test. I passed. I got 12. And so what? Now I don't even remember this number. So why would I even waste my time doing that, you know? I would rather paint and not just at night, just I would rather paint, I would rather do what was good for me. And so the whole system is uh, distorted as well. So uh, the more of creatures are going to, uh, are going to uh, love ourselves, themselves more, uh, the more they actually uh, care about educational system and they are going to um, Heighten their standards, and so they're not going to uh, to uh, let their kids attend schools where all they have to do is just to fight for these numbers, okay? And that's how it all is going to be changed eventually. But unless people do not really care, it's going to be exactly the way it is, and uh, that's how it goes. So if you look at relationships, educational system, politics, anything, you'll see com com competition. And we have resources here, but because of competition, there is lack here. If we're going to cooperate, no lack is going to be here anymore. But some creatures, they still come here to experience lack. So, um, as I said, if we're going to just uh, run around with this uh, papers where it's going to be reading something like, No lack! We're wealthy! <laughs> it's not going to help at all. So. As I see it, this level of brokenness in us, that's what I have to heal in the first place. And then we'll see. We all somehow, uh, we all are parts of the system and ecosystem and uh, like natural system and this world. And the more we uh, like act and live in alignment with our terrestrials, the more outer world is. Uh, co-creating with us and interacting with us and we'll see new ways, new ways that we uh, weren't able to see before.